Now let's go ahead and take a look at to-dos. To-dos are a powerful task management feature of Trimble Connect. In this particular case, you can see that I have a variety of different types of tasks here within my to-do list. Let's start by creating a new to-do. We'll press the Create To-Do button, enter in our description, and then let's select some additional options. We're going to set the priority to critical because we want to update the estimate as soon as possible. I'm going to set the due date to next Tuesday, and I'm going to assign this to the estimating team. Once I press submit, an automated email notification will be sent to all the users that are associated to the estimating team. Our to-do has now been added to the top of the list. When I select on it, you can see the details over here towards the right. Now that we've created the to-do, let's actually associate the architectural drawings to that to-do. That way it makes it easier for the estimating crew to find what they need to work with. Let's go to the architectural folder, and here we can select these drawings. We can then go here to the more dropdown, and we're going to go ahead and say add files to the to-do. Here is the to-do that we just created. We'll press submit, and now those files are associated with the to-do. Let's go back to the to-do list. Here when we show or select the to-do, we'll see these attached items. If you simply click these items, it'll bring you to that particular file. Once the estimating department has completed the estimate, they're going to apply a comment to this to-do. In this particular case, they're saying the estimate is complete and see the attached Excel spreadsheet. So let's go to the Data Explorer view, go to our estimating folder, select the updated Excel spreadsheet, which includes the estimate information, and we're going to attach this to the to-do. We'll then go back to the to-dos list, and we can see the new spreadsheet has been attached. Now that the estimating team is done, they're going to change the status to done. Let's review a couple of other types of to-dos. Here we can actually link RFIs and views and 3D annotations in the model to a to-do. Here this is going to load up the model, show the 3D red lines that are here associated with this, and now I can easily understand and visualize the question associated with this RFI. In another example, we can track the fabrication status of this part. Here we can see that there's a 3D model, 2D shop drawings, as well as CNC information for the machines on the shop floor, all attached to this particular part. We can then see the different processes or operations that have been complete on this part and on what date. We can then end by setting the status and showing when this is complete. Let's look at one last example here where we've actually created instructions for the field to set anchor bolts for columns. When we click this view, we'll actually be clipped to that certain floor level in the model. And then we'll also see an overlay of the 2D erection drawing as well as the 3D objects in the model telling us exactly where and what we need to set in the field.